So you see today we will discuss this insect dipods. So you see this term, particular term dipods that is coined by your Wheeler. Here you can see coined by Wheeler in 1800, uh, sorry, 1983. Wheeler in 1983, okay. It is the period of arrested growth. That means at that time what will happen? No physiological process, no differentiation process. Those things will not work. Dipods is the period of arrested growth or development in the life cycle of the insect during which the physiological process, all those physiological process, it may be digestion, respiration, somewhat respiration will be there, circulation, excretion, those things will be stopped. Like differentiation and reproduction are your suspended, they will not be working for a shorter period of time. So what is the character of dipods? What happens actually to the insect? Low rate of metabolism will be there, digestion, absorption, those things will be reduced. Low oxygen com consumption will be there. Somewhat it will be there but not in exact manner. Low body weight will be there. Low body water content will be there. Vitamin deficiency will be there in the blood. So these are the characteristics of one dipose undergoing insect. It may occur in any stage. It may be embryonic stage, larval stage, pupal stage or your adult stage also. Depending on the species, a species as per their requirement. So much you can also tell it is an adaptation resulting in the delay in the development usually to facilitate survival during the unfavorable period. Who can tell what is this point? It is an adaptation resulting in the delay in the development usually to facilitate survival during unfavorable period. What is the meaning of that? Can anybody explain? You see, it is an adaptation. That means the insect will adapt, the insect will develop or the insect will try to avoid. Which thing? Suppose you see one insect is there. If in the winter season they are unable to survive, so what the insect will do? What the insect will adapt? They will try to undergo diapers so that their all the activity will be stopped so that once the winter will go, they can regain their composure and they will continue their life cycle. So this is the meaning of that your adaptation resulting in the delay in the development usually to facilitate survival during unfavorable periods. Okay. In temperate region, diapers help the insect to survive during cold winter. But in case of tropics, what will happen to survive during, during the what? Summer season. Diapers may occur in any stage. It may be egg, larva, nymph, pupa or adult stage. What is the difference between larva and nymph? Who can tell? Larva is immature stage of Lepidoptera. You can tell, huh? But nymph means immature stage of all those hemimetabolous insects. That is your word. Nymph, it may be people or other stage. In a majority of insect species which enter, enter dipods, they do so only in one stage of the development which is species specific. In a particular species, in a particular stage, they will undergo dipods. Egg dipods commonly seen in grasshopper while the people dipods is common in Lepidoptera. An adult dipod occurs in several species of insect, especially hemiptera and coleoptera and insect. You see embryonic dipod, silkworm, egg dipod, silkworm and grasshopper, larval dipod, you just remember, pink bollworm, pectinophora gossipiella, pupal dipod, red hairy caterpillar, amsakta albistriga, and cabbage white butterfly. Then adult dipod, mango notovil, colorado potato beetle. In those insects, what will happen? Such kind of dipodes will be there these are all species specific what do you mean by obligatory and facultative dipods what is obligatory and what is facultative in a particular species in a particular stage definitely they will undergo dipods that is known as what your obligatory what is facultative if unfavorable situation will come then only they will undergo dipods if unfavorable situation won't be there then what will happen they may or may not go undergo dipods that is known as what your facultative dipods it is a stage of suspended activity of the insect due to unfavorable condition and with the onset of favorable condition the insect will regain its original activity that is what your facultative dipods okay but it, what is obligatory refers to the stage of suspended activity of the insect which is hereditary it is completely governed by the gene the unfavorable situation may come or may not come definitely they will undergo, undergo the dipods condition the unfavorable condition may be biotic or abiotic biotic means by other insect by their predator by their food those are your what biotic Abiotic means it may be due to rainfall, it may be due to temperature, it may be due to any kind of thing. That is what your abiotic. Okay. You see occurrence of dipods during summer. That means uh, you know 
summer sleep is known as estivation and uh, winter sleep is known as hibernation same thing is written huh? the occurrence of diapers during summer due to high temperature is known as estivation and during winter due to low temperature is known as what your hibernation these things you know okay in some insect diapers helps the insect to synchronize the active stages of the morphogenesis with the suitable environmental conditions of temperature availability of food while in some other species it synchronizes the adult emergence to increase the chance of your mate finding also it should be clearly understood here that diapers is not a single physiological event but is a syndrome of several physiological and behavioral behavioral manifestation that means it's not like temperature is reduced means the insect will undergo diapers before the temperature will reduce to a particular point before that only the temperature is decreasing it will be perceived by the insect physiological changes will happen behavioral changes will happen then the insect will undergo diapers not like directly it will undergo diapers diapers and uh, dormancy what is the difference dormancy or quiescence what is the difference diapers is planned but dormancy is not planned Diapers is always planned. That means winter is coming means they will start undergoing diapers. Of course, in respond to specific stimuli. But here what will happen? Instant reaction to the prevailing environmental condition. At that time only dormancy will happen. Okay. Once diapers begins, the metabolic activity remains suspended. Even if the conditions favorable for the development prevail, indicating its complex regulatory system. Suppose you see winter is two month. Hmm? So where the insect is knowing, it should go a diapers of two month. Okay, this is what a diapers. But dormancy means what? In diapers, what will happen? Suppose the winter stopped at one month also, they will be in the diaposing state only. They will not presume their activity. But dormancy means suppose the winter is two month, they have started undergoing your dormancy. Suppose at one month the winter is gone, from this what will happen, no more dormancy will be there, they will resume their activity. This is what your dormancy. Understanding my point, diapers is neurohormonally mediated and undergo genetic, uh, under genetic control it will happen. But this is always a bad stress that too, instant reaction will be there. You see diapers is regulated by your different type of hormones also, uh, that is your juvenile hormone, okay, according to the concentration. Okay, some uh, hormone hormonal changes can also be used to disrupt the diapers in insect. You see, diapers in adult insects is due to reduced activity of corpora alata, thus reducing the JH concentration. JH means juvenile hormone concentration in the blood. Hence, in some insect, diapers in adults can be terminated by applying excess amount of JH that is controlled by your PTTH, prothrosopotropic hormone okay larval diapers in some species depends upon continuous presence of juvenile hormone also a juvenile hormone is there more that's why also what is happening the diapers is there in which stage larval stage in rice temperor concentration of jets remains high throughout the diapers uh, and corpular activity decreases as termination of diapers approaches okay in bombix mori egg diapers yes or no that is due to Maternal diapers, that is also known as from a maternal diapers, hormone produced by the mother in the subesophageal ganglion for which the egg has undergone diapers. That's why it is known as maternal diapers. High temperature initiate diapers in bombix mori, but low temperature what happens? They will terminate the diapers in bombix mori. So in sericulture, what they should do? They should keep it in low temperature so that they won't undergo diapers and we will get the larva early. In some insects, starvation or poor quality food have been shown to induce diapers also. Larva of Eproctis enter diapers when exposed to either short or extremely long photo periods. That is based upon the day length also. Imaginal diapers that happens in case of mosquito. Imaginal, imago means adult. We have discussed it this one. I think uh, in the metamorphosis. This diapers in blood sucking arthropods is often characterized by gonotrophic dissociation. What is the meaning? By an uncoupling of digestive and reproductive process, what happens? Your imaginal diapers happens. Okay. An arthromopause diapers due to non-thermal region. That means other than temperature region. If diapers is happening, that is known as arthromopause. Diapers here what happens? Stage is determined. Long adaptive, irreversible, heterodynamic. Okay. But in case of the quiescence you see or dormancy, 
in case of dormancy in case of dipods stage is specific in case of dormancy stage is not specific it may happen anytime if unfavorable season come dipods is long adaptive for a longer period of time it will survive even though the unfavorable situation will go but in case of acquiescence or dormancy instant instant dipods will happen instant dormancy will happen instantly also dormancy will be stopped this is irreversible no more reverse to the normal process but this is reversible once after going of the unfavorable situation this is heterodynamic so many processes are involved this is homodynamic instant reaction to the outside stimuli uh, this is a normal life cycle egg first like this it is happening okay you see from this egg huh? you see two road are there one is egg undergoing dipods then hibernation then hatching will happen one is you see egg undergoing non diapers within 9 to 12 days what will happen that will also hatch two type of methods are there one is undergoing diapers in high temperature another one is without uh, diapers that is during low temperature situation irreversible diapers means what directly the larva will become pupa reversible quiescence means what larva to larva like this it will undergo okay that means you see what is happening here once they undergo your dipodes, what is happening? The stage is changing. They have undergone dipodes in the larval stage. So when they presume they are becoming pupa. But in case of dormancy or quiescence, what will happen? Larva will stay in suspended activity for a larva stage. Again, they will resume as larva only. They will not become a pupa again. Okay? Okay, listen. Subscribe and hit the bell button. So when I come online, you will also hit the bell button.